Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at how to crochet the almond ridge stitch. It is a reversible stitch, although it gives a slightly different effect on the other side. It's a lovely textured stitch, nice and stretchy, perfect for blankets and many other different projects. Okay, let's get started. For the sample today, I've just chained 29, so it's made in multiples of eight plus five. So as usual, don't count the loop on your hook and skip the first chain. And for this one, I like to go into the back bump of the stitch. So if you just see the little Vs here and turn over and you'll see the back bump here. So in the very first one, you do a slip stitch and you pop a slip stitch in each of the next three. So it's worked using a total of four slip stitches and then four half double crochets and that's US terminology in the UK these would be half trebles so we now do half double crochet in the next four stitches all into the back bump of the chain. Try and not do your slip stitches too tightly because that makes it a little bit easier when you work your next row. So you just repeat this all the way along to the end and as you start with four slip stitches you'll end with four slip stitches so we've just done four half double crochets we now need to do four slip stitches these little back bumps can seem a bit tricky when you first work into them if you're not used to working into them but once you've done your first one, it tends to lay the right way. So now we do our four half double crochets. And you just repeat this, as I said, ending with four slip stitches. And four. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the row. So I've just reached the last stitch. Pop a slip stitch in there to complete the four slip stitches. Then chain one. That's how it looks. Next turn and then we're going to work into the back loop of the first stitch. This is our loop, that's the chain we've just made. And the next chain along, just into the back there, work another slip stitch. And then slip stitch into the back chain of the next three stitches. Sorry, I was about to do a single one, so it's a slip stitch. Now we're going to work four single crochets into the back loop again. Sorry, four half double crochets. how it's looking and next we do our four slip stitches again in the back loops and then we 
and do our four half double crochets. All into the back loop. And then four slip stitches again into the back loop. And our four half double crochets. And then we reached our final four stitches where we need to pop slip stitches four slip stitches in the last four stitches now if you want an eater edge you can go underneath both loops of the stitch rather than just into the back and do a slip stitch next chain one and turn and we're now going to do half double crochets into the first four stitches so this gives a neater edge rather than just chaining two and skipping it a stitch so yarn over and i go into both loops to give a neat edge there under both loops i should say with a half double and then half double into the next three stitches but into the back loops this time and this we're going to repeat for two rows starting with half double crochets and ending with half doubles so we switch now to slip stitches so you alternate between four half double crochets and four slip stitches all the way across and you should end with four half double crochets and I shall meet you at the end the last stitch is how it's looking now I've worked three half double crochets into these three stitches here and then to the fourth one in the back loop and into the fourth one I'm going to go under sorry both loops to give a neater finish for the edge and we always when we start with half double crochets we make sure we do two rows where we start and end with a half double crochets and two rows where we start with slip stitches and end with slip stitches and that's all there is to this little stitch so you can see here we've only done one row of half double crochets starting with so we need to chain one turn our work and then into that very first stitch ignoring the turning chain just there under both loops work a half double crochet to get that nice neat edge and then half double crochet into the back loop only to the next three and then we slip stitch into the next four stitches And by working into the back loop of the stitches it pushes one of the loops forward to give you this little ribbed effect or ridged effect right so we now need to do another four half doubles all the 
fall into the back loops and then four singles. There we go. Because I didn't work the single, sorry, the slip stitches too tightly, um, they're easier to get into. Sorry if I've said single crochet instead of slip stitches. Okay, so this is how it's looking. Right, so we now need to do our four half doubles and then our four slip stitches and then four half doubles and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So I'm at the last half double crochet and I'm going to go under both loops of that stitch. As you can see here that little um, diagonal bar there is part of the half double crochet and the top of the stitch is actually just here. So go under both loops and complete a half double crochet. So if we have a look now can see that this is one side and we're going to turn one chain and turn and this is where it's really taking effect where you can see your rows of slip stitches here those sit nicely together and pull in the work and then you do your half double crochets two rows and they sit like so and they give that, it's almost like a little wave effect as well. And I think it looks like a little cable effect going this way. So you just complete two rows where you start with four singles and two rows where you start and end with four half double crochets. And that's all there is to this little stitch. Okay, so hope that's been of some use to you. Just a quick reminder of when you finished your half double crochet your second row again you're going to chain one turn your work skip that first chain and here's your first stitch just pop a slip stitch under both loops to give a neat edge and then go ahead and do in the back loop of the next three stitches your three slip stitches It gives you a total of four slip stitches and then you're ready to go with your half doubles again starting in that little dip and here we have the completed little design here and by doing working into the back bump of the um, chain you get a nice little chain ridge there, a lovely edge. So for instance, if you were making a baby blanket and you didn't really want to edge the baby blanket, it would be fine like so. And then on this side, you could in theory do a little ridge with um, single crochets and half doubles where it slightly dips. It doesn't dip too much, but yes, you, you could just experiment with the edging whatever way you wish. Okay so I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you're not already subscribed it would be great if you um, would. It's completely free and if you've really enjoyed if you could hit the like button and also the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Okay in the meantime take care and thanks again. Bye!